Hello everyone! In this video, we are going to learn how to manage the VPN users. We are assuming that you have already deployed the Karyo Control Firewall at the premises of your company, and the Karyo Control VPN server is online and configured. We will also assume that your users have been informed to install the Karyo Control VPN client on the computers they are using in their home offices. To manage the users, you need to enter the web user interface of Karyo Control. You can directly see the first information about the VPN users in the dashboard and under the VPN information. More detailed information about the VPN users can be found in Status and VPN Clients. Over here, you can see who is using the VPN, what type of tunnel that person is using, their operating system, the login time, and version of the VPN client. Make sure you are always running the newest possible version of the VPN client. If you want to create new users, go to Configuration and User section. Over here, you can choose between two options, the local user database and, if you have a directory service, you can also integrate with the directory service. If you're integrated with directory service, all the users are going to be pulled from that directory service. Make sure that those users pulled from the directory service have the needed rights to enter and connect to the VPN. If you want to create new users, for example in a local database, it is very easy to do so. You can just right click, click on add, type in the name, You can add the full name if you want. You need to add the password. If you don't have any user templates already predefined, you need to choose This user has a separate configuration. This will enable you to go to the Rights section. In the Rights section, make sure the checkbox User can connect using VPN is enabled. If you want to, you can also configure a static IP address for the VPN client. When this is done, you can click on OK. The user is now ready. For better security, you can also take advantage of the two-factor authentication. The two-factor authentication can be turned on in domains, and user login, and security options. Here we can see the checkbox to enable two-step verification or two-step authentication. Make sure you click to make these changes apply. For user statistics, visit the Carrier Control Stats. Depending on the user you are using to log in, you will see different kinds of statistics. For example, I am looking at this as the administrator. That means I will be able to see everyone's stats. You can see the generic ones, or you can go to Individual and choose a specific user of interest. Thank you very much for watching, and stay tuned for more videos.